Hey, this is Flo and in this video I will show you how I personally structure my apps using MVVM as a design pattern. So first of all, there will be no code in today's video. We will just focus on the structure of the project in Xcode. So on the left hand side here, you can see that I created a project called Dummy App. And what I usually do is I create three groups. One group called Data, which contains models, services and so on. One group called Feature Targets, which includes all the Swift UI code and all my view models. And one group called Supporting Files for Assets and so on. Let's go through all of them. So the data group usually for me contains a group of models. So for example, a user model or a game model or whatever it is that we are dealing with. And then a group of services. For example, here I have a user service, which is a protocol, and then a mock user service for testing and a real user service that actually communicates with an API as a backend on some server. This is all as usually in the data group. Next on, there's the feature targets group, inside which I have a folder for each of the main features or screens that the app has. So for example, the app has a settings screen, a profile screen and a home screen. So let's look into one of these right now. So for example, there would be a home view and a home view model. So you can have your views and your view models in one place, in one group inside of the feature targets. And then lastly, what I usually have is a group called supporting files in which I have the entry point to my app, which is the app struct and I also have the asset catalog and then also other assets if you need them like sound files, video files and so on. So this is the basic overview of how I personally use MVVM to structure my projects and to always know where I can find some file. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel and there will be much more practical content coming in the future. Bye.